a story uh, that uh, Charlie and I have laughed at so many times is you, you got me one morning. I, this was the first year that I t uh, was at Eastern and I was in the office with you. And you were telling me about uh, Monroe Spears, Walter Craig Curry, and some of those people. And um, you, you were talking about how lucky you had been as a student. And uh, you, you started to leave the room. And you said, you know, Hal, uh, I've had one regret with all the great people I've been associated with. And I just bit hook, line, and say, I said, <laughs> what was that, Bino? And you looked at me and you said, well, I just regret that I never had me as a teacher. And <laughs> then you did the famous like. thing we remember, <laughs> the hand rub. Where did the hand rub come from? I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people, and I, I have no idea. But I guess I must have rubbed my hands all the time. Hey, you did. Yeah. Sometimes, even if it was an especially good joke, you'd do a hand rub, and you'd think yeah. about it for a second, then you'd do another one. A double now, hand rub. Our old buddy Pete <laughs> Remaley used to love the yeah. double hand rub. Yeah. Yeah, laugh about I, that. I remember Pete. Well. Oh, that's good. And we found out from uh, Bill that it must be uh, uh, something in the genes because he said he admits he sometimes does a hand yeah. rub as well. I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. After you had been here a while, you started that creative writing conference. And that conference has been what, one of the longest running, yeah. I think, that Eastern's ever had. I, I ran yeah. it for, I don't know, 10 or 12 years. and then. Turned it over to someone. I don't remember who. Sutton. Probably Bill years, Sutton, but because yeah. he ran it for years, then his yeah. wife ran it, and Harry yeah. Brown ran it. Yeah, I started that you know, two or three years after I came here. What, what made you start that? Uh, I think the president wanted it, and he told me to find some in. So I got uh, uh, a man that I had taught with down at Langham Memorial University. He was a youngster, and uh, I got. Uh, what did you just name the... Uh, uh, Bill Sutton? No, the man that I got uh, the first year. Oh, he's famous English teacher. We John I, Crow I Ransom. Ransom. John Crow Ransom. Yeah. John Crow Ransom. And Andrew Lytle. He was the editor of the Swanee Review. Yeah. And they three came that first year. And, uh, well, Bill is named for the last of William Taylor. Uh, we named Billy after him. Ah. <laughs> so, and you had been friends with these people at Vandy? And yeah, I had, well, no, they had left Vandy, but I knew them from the, had heard of them at Vandy, and I called them and asked them to come, and they came, and we had a good conference. Mm. And we had a huge crowd there, even a lot of professors from over UK came over, and you know, word got to me through Dr. Grice. The president didn't like that. He just wanted the people who had signed <laughs> up for the course. And so we had to cut it back. Because you were too popular. Oh, too popular. Yeah. But we had a, a full room there. Just over in, uh, what's the building over here? The social building on the campus? The King Johnson. King Johnson. King Johnson. Yeah. We had that big room down there. Walnut Hall. Had yeah. them just full. And there a lot of professors from uh, UK. But that didn't, that didn't see the yeah. one, just the people that had paid to take the conference. So we cut it back. And after that, just the people who had paid yeah. for the conference came to it. Yeah, you had yeah. a lot of well-known acquaintances and friends. I, I still remember in, in our office. We got some good uh, with people. With Jesse Stewart. Yeah, Jesse uh, Stewart came, came up and uh, You introduced us to, to Jesse yeah. Stewart. Yeah, so that was yeah. that was good. He, Jesse Stewart was quite a character. <laughs> he he was. Uh, Wasn't he a writer yeah. in residence here for for a while or something? He was not. I I don't know, guess he's called it a writer in residence, but he was here and when I, you know, and uh, did some classes and some work here, but that. Uh, I guess it would be a writer in residence. He was a writer and he was in residence. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, another interesting thing for us, and it's especially interesting for me, uh, given my background, that uh, you've always been uh, a very spiritual, religious man and uh, have actually done lots of preaching. That's right. And um, I, I remember going to, to uh, church with you at, at one time. Uh, to a gospel meeting, and um, Bill 
had suggested to us that you started out with the idea that that's what you would do and the teaching would be sort of a way to support the family mm -hmm. and to do this teaching and you supplied in pulpits for, uh, oh, yeah. for many years. I, I did 14 years of ministry before I went to the Army. And then after I came back from the Army, I preached every Sunday. And in the summer, in the vacation, I'd hold meetings. I did a lot of preaching. Yeah. A lot of it. Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, you've you've led a full life with, when you consider yeah, yeah, that you were yeah. teaching 15 hours, you were raising your family, you were building your house, you were basically preaching every Sunday, you you were doing a lot. Yeah, I, I did. I did a lot of work. I really did. It's it's a great kind of thing to that we've had a chance to experience a, a Christian gentleman, and a scholar. And uh, I, I told Charlie a few years ago that, that uh, probably one of the greatest shocks that I had was um, so I always had seen you in a coat and tie. And I remember we went to a conference and we stopped by Gail, your daughter. We stopped by her house and uh, she had a dog. And I can still remember you got down in the floor with that dog, and you were playing with that dog, and that shocked me. I said, "Wait a minute, this is Dr. Rhodes. I can't believe." Was that a little white dog that. or the black dog? I believe it was the black one, but I'm black. not. That was the sure. second. That was the second dog. The first dog got run over. Oh. And she got that. But idea. that just shocked the heck out yeah. of me because yeah. I didn't see you rolling in the floor. You'd always been a coat well, and tie man. She she kept. <laughs> Gail's kept a dog all her life. Yeah. She, she was all when she comes to visit us. She comes. She's got two <laughs> dogs now. She keeps. Them, yeah. yeah. I, I got to ask you about one last story, okay? <laughs> and this is: Do you remember a graduate student named Danny Miller? Danny, Danny, Miller. Danny Miller would have been in the mid '70s. And the story, and we're, we're trying to ascertain how true this story is. <laughs> but, you know, Danny would leave here and eventually get his doctorate and go on and become chair up uh, north of the English department at Northern Kentucky. But he, he was a good student back then. He was taking a class from you. And you and he got into an argument about the Bible in some class. Maybe it was, it was Milton Bible. class, I think. Is that what yeah. call? And you insisted the answer was A. He insisted the answer was B. And the story is that he walked into your office, put down, I think it was a biblical concordance in front of you, and pointed to this and said, look, I'm right. And you were grading papers at the time without missing a beat. You took your pencil and crossed it out and said, no, that's wrong. <laughs> I don't remember You that. don't remember that. I part. told everybody I'd put my money on you rather than that concordance. <laughs> but, well, uh, but that was I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have marked it out unless I was sure it was wrong. Well, <laughs> uh, 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 well we want to thank you very much, Bino, for yeah. sharing your, your stories and the things that you've done over here uh, for, for all these years. It's been very good uh, reminiscing with you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you.